What is up, YouTube world? Got some mail in today, and I want to open it live. But I want to be quick, because I'm watching Mystery Science Theater 3000, the uh, season 11. So I want to... <clears throat> I've got that going downstairs right now. Naomi's watching that. So, yeah. And we're in the final episode of said season, so... Start with some stuff that was in last week, minus one that I'll show later. It's a bopper. Uh, 01 Tops. Wade Boggs uh, rookie reprint in Jersey. 05 Donner's Champions. Nelly Fox Bat. Dizanin Musa. 3 of 199 on Dominion. Um, Mikhail Bridges. Purple out of Crown Royale. It's on front. 25. Got two packs of update. At some point, Naomi will open them. Uh, Josh Rosen. Rookies and Stars to 49 auto. Got a flawless Collegiate. Mikhail Bridges to 15. And then out of National Treasures 17. Uh, Herb Pennock. Or Pennock. Either way. Boston and the Yankees. Uh, Hall of Fame. Jersey number 99. It says game used. So. Hopefully it's not like a Legends game. But I don't put it past them. So it's Panini. They're shady like that. That'll show after. Um, ba -bum. And four packages. I know basically what's in all four. Card show is coming up this weekend, but I don't think I'll be able to make it in Duluth. Uh, Friday of work, and then there's senior night for the <clears throat> local basketball team, so I want to bring Naomi there to watch, watch that. Um, she hasn't watched a boys game yet, so really would like to do that and then and that starts at what 545 ish and then the boys is right after so that pretty much bottles up that day so we'll be done with work probably about two she gets done with school at three so and then Saturday um I don't know, I've seen the weather and it doesn't look like it's too great, but I don't know, we'll see. I'd like to go just because, again, there's so few and far between up where I'm at. So, out of this grouping that's been acquired over the past, I don't know, close to a month, Fleer Futures 2001. Uh, game use base from Wrigley for Sammy Sosa. Um, out of the, I think the new, 2014 Leaf, uh, Leaf Origis, Originals. I don't know if these were ones that weren't signed and finally he signed them or what, but the yellow is to 99. One of my favorites, Big Stevie Cool. Met him in 2014. Um, what do I want to go with next? I'll go with this. Because it's in a woefully oversized for what it is. I'm going to top load. Especially right over here. But Grace and Rodriguez, Bowman's best auto. Um, Denzel Ward out of Optic. Reaper auto. Nicely put two and one. Again, these are just, you pick them up for a couple bucks each. If they hit, they hit. If you don't, if they don't, you're not out <clears throat> really anything. So, 
and Cole Wynn is a first round pick in 2018, 15th overall. And Jackson Kowar is uh, 33rd pick overall in the 2018 draft. So to get those for, I think, like four each, why not? It's always, it's, that's about as deep as my speculative juices run. The Bowman Chromes for under five. I missed out on Jazz Chisholm last year. I still remember it. And I fucking, now that guy's top 50 prospect overall. Award winners of Chuck Foreman. Only bad part is the, the streakiness. But so it's nice to get a Vikings auto. And then, a big one from back in the day. Um, classic draft. This used to be a fucking absolute monster. 91 draft picks football. Um, all on card with all the swooping. A number to 1500. That's even more rare than the Elite Series back then. Think of that, 91. Rahib Rocket Ishmael. So, um, it wouldn't get a 10. Um, just because the centering on the back is off. There's a very slight soft corner there. Um, I know what's in here. I know what I buy. And this was one I rarely do anything with this guy's group, but he had enough stuff where I was really wanting to win them and then I won't say pay a premium, but really wanted to make a splash. So first up, we got a Malik Monk playoff content or Panini contenders, the Collegiate uh, rookie auto on card. And then we got a Martavius Bryant numbered uh, or 2014 uh, select. The sticker is woefully off center. Good job, QC there. You're saying Martavius Bryant, Dave? Fuck, he sucks. Bottom left corner, nope, that might be schmutz in there. The corner looks nice, it's schmutz. But, in the bottom, number 10. So, if he gets his shit together for 6 bucks, that's an easily flippable card if he gets his shit together. He's, I talked to Michael, this film not yet rated. I said this fucking card, just on the precipice of, uh... The photo alone, even though it's I see on the back it's the same, fuck it. It is beautiful. The photo is great. Bill Walton Revolution this year, 2018-19, on-card auto. That, those fucking rec specs, those are badass. And you're going to notice a theme glasses because this guy's got him too and uh finally got an auto of him i think he was on the lower tier of the <clears throat> the trying to get the auto for uh this year got one didn't get an older one got a newer one but the price was right then i happened to win the <clears throat> in his group as a top eight spenders which i actually spent shockingly i mean those cards there i think were Welton was about 12, and the other two I think were like 6, 6.50 each. And then this one was 35, which I still think is a great deal. But then I won. Top top 8 spenders go for random. <coughs> and uh, the winner gets $20 PayPal, so it's just basically $20 off your bill, which I'm like, hey, I'm all about winning. And it's like eBay bucks without eBay. So I won that. So I got all all four of these for forty three dollars, which I thought was a fucking steal. So I'm sure that this card alone would be in that range. But uh, seventeen eighteen play Panini Pacific playoff, whatever it is, Vanguard, number to twenty five, Cosmic Force, Kareem, Abdul, Jabbar. thing I liked about that was 
the back picture also is different. So, because I looked it up on eBay just to see it, the back, and I saw that, and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm done with that. <sighs> Save that for last with the other one. Cause these ones are gonna take a, a bit of time. Because it's you want to see fucking random stuff, just completely. No rhyme, no reason. There is a dearth of it in this uh, treasure trove, treasure chest, as it were. Should have opened it beforehand, but. I think the episode that's playing for Mystery Science, for all two of you that care, is uh, uh, the center of the Earth, something like that. Core of the I don't know, something the core of the Earth, something of that ilk. This guy was selling a bunch of nice stuff, and I've gotten his stuff in the last few weeks. But all of a sudden, he, I was thinking, oh good, and a new, a new seller to really. Look at, consider, even Adam's a favorite seller, and fuck, no, he's got nothing up except, uh, buy it now is one is a Brady Auto, and the rest are all digital cards, which are fucking, again, for me, I don't get it, that's, I get the kids are in all the fucking tablets and bullshit all the time, but still, I want something that's fucking tangible and in my hands, digital shit is just fucking stupid. So we'll go through all these trinkets and treasures together. Um, out of 2010 Panini. Uh, Gridiron Gear, number 53 color patch. Clinton Portis, do you? Save that one for later too, because it's a fucking nice, nice one. That's a nice one. Fuck, I... Some of the stuff I feel and got, I got. <sighs> Matt Colley, you're going to like this video, I know. So, that's the first stack. Um, some of these were just cheap, that's why you're seeing me pick them up. And plus, I'll combine shipping, which I always said to Mike Lino. Um, out of O oh, one Donruss Elite, face-to-face. Face mask number 100. Phil Sims. Not the last Sims you'll see in this video. 2004. Face to face. Dual face mask. Marshall Falk, Sean Alexander to 125. Out of 2007. Um, Donner's Classics, Paint Patched, 25. Roger Roger. Craig. Out of 2007, Tops TX. Um, no numbering on the back, no numbering on the front. Autograph, it's on the Super Bowl ticket. Um, from Super Bowl 38. Defensive tackle, Chris Jenkins. Out of 1997, it's top stadium club, co-signers. Um, Simeon Rice and Jeff Lagerman. The chine, the chiney. Couple of dead Freds here. Freddie Taylor out of 19, 2000, maybe? 2000, uh, yep, absolute leather and laces. So a chunk of a ball and laces from the ball. Game dated ball of 12 26 99. 41 to 14 Tennessee Titans win. 
Uh, Taylor had a touchdown and 44 yards, but that was it. <clears throat> Numbered low. To 20. And that's one thing I, I can't stay away from. Older numbered cards. And by older, it doesn't have to be 1995. It's 2000 as well. That's 18, 19 years old already. So, 03 Ultimate Collection. 05 Ultimate Collection. Ultimate Patch. Numbered to 9 of 20. Same numbering. Fred Taylor. Appears to be a little chunk of the Jaguar. My favorite sets of all time. Uh, this is 09? 2010. Fabric of the game. Patch. Number to 50. Jim Plunkett. Um, I, I'm surprised this didn't go for more. Um, you don't see a lot of it. Especially from this era. And if you do, you usually see it go for... More than, I think I got this for like un, just under 8 bucks. Uh, out of t 1999 Skybox EX Century. Um, Authentic Kicks. Not the cereal. As in shoe. Game used shoe of uh, Minnesota Vikings then quarterback. Randall Cunningham, number 290. Part of his sneaker. Um, next one up, Matt Colley. Heard fan, 87. Listen up. I saw you buy one, and that actually got me looking for one, because he's sort of that tweener type. I don't know if he'll ever make the Hall of Fame. Um, probably not. But he's a very good backer. For a number of years. And uh, and I saw, I saw you pick yours up. I said, well, what does he have for autographs? And there wasn't much. But this one happened to be an auction. And I think I got it cheaper than you. So I'm happy. I'm happy you spent more money than me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what is it, 2013? 13. Tops Archives Fan Favorites. Seth Joyner. Uh, in the 1993 Tops reprint issue on Cardado. And then, not to be outdone, out of that Tops TX 2007. Same as the Chris Jenkins, but from Super Bowl 39. Um, one of the, they're better, another backer for them that was, probably won't get Super or a Hall of Fame <clears throat> recognition, but a very good backer for a, Solid period of time there. I love this guy and Werewolves of London Fletcher. Those two are probably my favorite backers at the time. Um, besides Seau. <clears throat> Jeremiah Trotter Auto. On the, the only bad part is that... I wish they had something where... Make that a little smaller. Push it up. Push this up, and then even if you have to go with a silver sticker on a piece of the card that's cut out here, um, I'd like that so you can see the autograph a little better. It really doesn't pop as well as it should, but what can you do? From 1992 Pro Line, I didn't even look to see if his autos are tough to get, it didn't matter because I figure this guy at one point in time will probably <sighs> there's a chance to get in the Hall of Fame as like a veterans committee type thing you think Trick Daddy did it for the kids Paul Tagliaboo autograph with a little stampity stamper on the bottom you can see a little yellowing around it so obviously somebody had it in light for a while. So, and then I said, be on the lookout for Phil Sims because he ain't done. Um, out of two thousand seven playoff national treasures, one of my favorite products of all time. 
um, triple patch, all painty, except the middle has a little uh, fabricish for the blue part. Same with the first, I guess. Um, timelines, numbered to twenty-five. <laughs> And that is schmutz just to the left and north, left and north of his hair. Not anything on the card. Let's see it up there, right before the red, or right before the gold and the red collide. <clears throat> what nice three colors on the first two, and then one, one on this, or two on the second, which makes me happy. And it's a patch connoisseur. Let's go take a peek through these before I. Uh, Show them off. That one's a end one. That's a nice one, but it's not an end one. That's a decent. That one's a decent one too. Oh, yo, gosh, oh, gee, oh, wee. First, and there is probably <clears throat> so out of tooth, and again, cheap. Combined shipping. This I think was like a buck fifty, two bucks maybe, or two thousand six playoff prestige, um, prestigious pros patch. Jimmy Smith the Jaguar tail. I love Jimmy Smith and Keenan McCardle and Kyle Brady. Um, number twenty five. Out of oh seven sweet spot. <laughs> Patch. Well, as good as you can get for Indianapolis Colts. What a Hudson fan 15. Adam Vinatieri. Out of 2010. Panini Epics. Two color. All day. Adrian Peterson. Fitty. Out of 2011. Fat playoff, playoff, Panini certified, fabric of the game, um, a seam patch, number 50, one you don't see a lot of material or autos of, James Harrison, numbering, out of Panini Classics, 2010, um, paint patch, classic singles, Harvey Martin, And that friend is to 50. Out of 2008, Absolute. I think that's my third type of, uh, third patch out of the set. I got a Tory Holt last week, and I want to say a Reggie Wayne I've had for a while. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 08, Absolute. Three color patch, numbered. 25 of Devin Hester. Do you? Out of 08, uh, Leaf Limited, uh, Prime Jersey, Three Color, Antonio Gates. Yellow certain obscured by the 8 and the 5. Three. We'll see there. That friend is numbered to 10. Out of 2012, Panini National Treasures. Franchise favorites, just a hint of a three color. Um, number to 25, Jared Allen. Purple down on the bottom left. Wish it was more pronounced, but that's fine. Um, out of 2007, Playoff Absolute, the Spectrum RPM, um, three color on the bottom swatch. The football is also three color, the gold, black, and the brown, and then the top swatch is also a three color, silver, black, and blue. Numbered 17 of 100, so 10 off his jersey number if it was a dyslexic, the 71. Um, 
Retired too early, but you can't blame him. Megatron. Out of 2012 Panini Absolute. Tools of the Trade, another one of my favorite sets. Quad Patch, two color one, two color one. The one colors do have stitching on the bottom of the windows. Little foilage over by the black and white shot of him. You can very faintly see it there. Patches. Andre Johnson, and that's numbered somewhere there. To five. Out of Prestige 2015. So I know you know it's a high-end product. <clears throat> Franchise favorites. Three color and a nice three color for being a small window. Numbered four of only five. Megatron again. The back leaves a lot to be desired. Why is he a franchise favorite? Uh. <clears throat> the yards, that. Doesn't do anything in the community? No, that's alright. 08. 08. Leaf certified materials. Uh, fabric of the game. Triple patch. Paint patch. Three color on the bottom. Two color in the middle. Two color on top. Number to 25. Brad Smith. Brad8671. Hello. How are you? I love you. Come on. Join the joyride. Yarrow your premium. Don't see a lot of his stuff out there either. Most noted for the God, how was it against the Redskins when he missed a field goal attempt and he tried to throw it and just sort of landed and basically fell out of his hand before he threw it forward and then went in his head and sort of rolled away and he looked as completely lost as one could be. Um both of these are fucking big for me. So I'll go with the veteran over the Hall of Fame type person. <clears throat> I notice a crease in this one, but that's alright. The windows on these are not great. Uh, out of 05, Donruss. Gridiron gear. Um, performers. Jumbo patch. From like a nameplate. Numbered to his jersey number. Or numbered to... Not his jersey number, but the 28, I believe, is. No, 37 is. Sean Alexander. You can sort of see, maybe. Can't, there, the top left of the window. A crease sort of goes off. But again, you don't see stuff like this of him. And then, out of 2011, Crown Royale. Um, Patch. Hey, George. George. What do you... What do you want, Webster? George. Alex Karras Patch. And that was a steal and a half. I think that was like under eight bucks. Eight, nine bucks. So there, there's that. Where am I at for time? 29, I got time. I'll go with this one first. Out of 1996, top stars, I want to say. They did all the Hall of Fame reprints, and I think they everybody got an auto out of it. Everybody that was living. And this guy at, this, at the time was living. This is a basketball card. Um, one of the guys I wanted on my... The big list. Um, and he's a Min Minneapolis Laker, so that's even bigger. <clears throat> see if the camera is picking up its beauty. Probably not, because I knock everything around. 
George Mikan on card auto. Now, Grant, he's got some upper deck stuff from the early 2000s. I think he died in 05. <clears throat> but that stuff is... The couple that I've seen are not visually appealing. I like this a lot. <clears throat> a, just a plain background, but B, he went to DePaul, the DePaul Blue Demons. Main color is blue, so, I mean, I like that background. Very, very stoked to get that. And then for my friends at... RBI Crew 7, Neil and Ryan, those, <clears throat> when I speak of the blog TV days, Ryan, even back in, when he started up on YouTube, in like late 08, mid 08, all the way through 09, and I mean, just on, he'd collect his guys, but he'd also be trying to always hustle, and by hustle, I mean, not undercut people or to oversell them something it's he was doing it the right way I'm shocked I have got this but it came up one of his posts I asked about it within a matter of absolute moments he responded he had a price I accept the said price and here it is and he sent it to me before I paid. I'm going to pay him tomorrow. And that just shows the kind of guy he is. There's his advertisement. So I don't have much time to show the card. About a minute. But out of 099 Donruss. Private signings. Derek Thomas. All on card, with the 58, even though it's obscured by the Donruss signature, that's fine. All on card, no bubbling, no streak, um, absolute fucking amazing card. And I thought for a decent price. Again, you don't see a lot of his stuff, you see that 98 Collector's Edge and some Pro-Line uh, profile stuff up, but this is one that I wanted. So, Ryan, Neil, thanks for the deal, my friends. Um, follow them. Take her easy, YouTube. She's easy. Take her twice.